Scorpio, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a reading for uh, Scorpio singles. Uh, we're going to take an energy around current love life. We're going to take a um, card for what you want from love, what you've learned from love, current blockages, what's coming in, um, advice from spirit and potential outcome. We'll clarify those and get a message out there. Um, with it being general, it's not going to resonate for every single Scorpion, so do check out your Moon, Rising, uh, Venus, very important with it being love, uh, or any stellium you have in your chart. And thank you for like, share, and subscribes. I think we're about two people away from 5,000, which is fantastic. Um, it's all down to the likes, shares, subscribes, the comments. It all helps circulate the videos and spread me far and wide. So if you haven't done so already, please do. It's much appreciated. And if you want to delve into your own situation, check out the description box for details of private readings. Okay, Scorpio singles. Ooh, we're in a protective bubble. And we're not letting people in, Scorpio. Okay, let's see. What do you want from love? What have you learned from love? What's blocking you? What's coming in? Advice and potential outcome. Okay. King of Cups with the Sun, the Devil, and the Magician. Okay. Kind of feel like you're just protecting yourself from manipulative devil energy at the moment. Um, could have dealt with a Capricorn, but I kind of feel like it's more just manipulations, you know. Um, and someone that's only out there for their own their own good. Um, I kind of feel like maybe you've fallen for it in the past. You've been. Saw the saw the brightness in people rather than you know what they truly were. So that's put you in a defensive position now. You've you know you've learnt because of that. Um, what you want from love is the nine of cups. You want your wish fulfillment. You want uh, something that makes you bring you a lot of joy and happiness. What you've learnt from love is the strength. You've learnt that people can be two faced. You've learnt that people can appear as if they have their shit together, pardon my French. Uh, however, they can uh, also be the devil. So you've learnt, you've learnt that people can be two-faced. What's blocking you is the moon. Um, I don't really think it's a card of secrets in this sense I'm more looking at the the way she's sinking deeper into the into the water here and um, the blockage possibly is you sink too far you don't make yourself you don't make your way back up to the top so I kind of feel like yes protect yourself protect your energy but don't don't in the process drown yourself you know there's all there's almost like you're putting up too much of a barrier what's coming in is the knight nine of swords yeah you know, it's not a pleasant energy it's um, um depression it's sleepless nights but i kind of feel like what we're showing here is the uh you're coming to the end of that you know we've got the um the light bird chasing away the dark and um, because what's actually your advice is the ten of swords I kind of feel like you just need to let this happen um, because you, you're going to be moving on to new horizons and um, the potential outcome is the king of swords and I kind of feel like this is a follow-on to your reading before where you're seeing things from a higher perspective now um, you're looking you're seeing things people for who they are you know you're seeing you're seeing the devil energy in people, or the people in your past, those that you're protecting yourself from. But again, like I said, don't protect yourself too much, otherwise, you know, you'll sink to the bottom of the ocean, and we don't want that. To. Okay. Um, 
okay. But that's your advice. Leave the past behind. I'm walking on to new, new ventures. Nine of Swords, the Six of Swords, and Judgment. Yeah, you, you're moving away from this Nine of Swords energy now um, because you've had a realization about some body or something. So, current energy is Seven of Wands um, is actually blocking you from your Nine of Cups, what you want. You know, this overprotective energy of yourself is blocking you. Uh, what you want is the Nine of Cups. Um, with a chariot, so you want victory and love. You want, you want to move forward. Move, you know, the chariot is kind of moving forward and leaving the past behind. So I kind of feel like you want to do that. Could be dealing with a cancer. What you've learned is the strength card with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, when the any Ace comes with the strength, it gives you that extra bit of oomph. So I kind of feel like it's, it's saying that you you've become strong. You become almost thick-skinned. Um, when it comes to hurts, you know, you're a tough cookie now, I kind of feel. Blockage is the moon with the king of cups. So this person was an illusion, I feel, this king of cups. It was an illusion. They weren't who they kind of said they were. But you're seeing through that now. What's coming in is the nine of swords with the six of cups. There is maybe a soulmate coming in. So don't be... I kind of feel like to say don't dismiss it because we've got a divine counterpart coming in because I kind of feel like it's it's this six of cups six of cups can um, say a past person returning I, I'm seeing you leave the past behind if I'm honest Scorpio um, but just be aware that there is a six of cups energy coming if there is somebody from your past returning it's your past past someone someone from possibly childhood um, I don't see it being this person at all because your advice is the Ten of Swords um, with the Moon. Walk away from this Moon situation, which is the King of Cups. You need to walk away from this past person. You know, you've protected your energy enough, you've got the strength to walk away from this person. But just be careful that you don't sink too far because you will block your wish fulfillment, which is exactly what you want. The potential outcome is fantastic. It's the King of Swords with the Queen of Swords. It's a divine counterpart. You're gonna get, you're gonna get your uh, your true person coming. Um, there's gonna maybe a little bit of depression and uh, Dark Knight of the Soul issues to get through first. But you know what, Scorpio, you are the Death card. You are the King and Queen of transformations. So you've got this. Don't worry. Let's set one more for this King and Queen of Swords. It's a seven of swords, but I kind of somebody that's already in the environment. Somebody that's watching you. Let's get another one. With the six of wands, somebody that's watching you, uh, that likes you a lot. Maybe on your social media, they're watching you. If you've got you know a few followers or anything like that. But I kind of feel like this. They're watching you, and they've got you on a pedestal. Bottom of the deck, ten of pentacles with the sun card. Commitment, happiness. So it's somebody that's in your environment. For some of you, maybe from work. For others of you, this is going to be a complete shock to you. You don't know who. You wouldn't expect this person to be watching you, I kind of feel. But, you know, it is a counterpart. So, Scorpio. There you go. Leave the past in the past. But, like I said, don't protect yourself too much where you end up kind of drowning. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces Cancer, Leo. 
Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo. But we've got cups, we've got swords, we've got pentacles, and we've got wands. Everybody's here. Those are your standouts, though. All right, Scorpio, let me know if it resonates. Um, good luck. Um, leave the past in the behind. You know, the past is done. But you've got, a, you've got a divine union coming in, so good luck with that. Um, thank you for following the channel, and I'll see you soon.